This film features scenes from an actual tutoring session for Physics 222. This film shows elements to consider when facilitating your own tutoring session. As a tutor, you should be prepared with examples for your two T's to practice, providing real-life application, and you should also know when upcoming homework, quizzes, and exams will occur. Has everybody done their homework for Tuesday? No. Do you want it right after we get out of here? Yeah. Well, hopefully this will help you with it then. I think it's coming up. So let's do 59 just because I think for your quiz you could see Snell's Law, Critical Angle, and Polarization would be like three topics. Provide your two T's with multiple resources, including their textbook, old problems and notes, board and markers, or a projection screen. Yeah, this will ensure that they learn the material in more than one way, helping with retention of that material. This guy be going back. Exactly. Yeah, we we'll take it through the focal point back like this. All the time these are in centimeters, they're asking for centimeters, so you don't have to bother to convert this stuff. It never hurts to convert. Questions on that one. So let's actually try to apply this to a problem then. You know, why not? Let's do 61. With peer to peer learning, your two T's should work on a problem together and then provide the rest of the group with their process of arriving to that answer. This is another technique that will help your two T's retain the information. Top of the point, and then where? Down. Back to the focal, right? Yeah. So I'm using this and rearranging like it because yeah. this is focal. Then what's the next one? 17.5. Yeah. It's positive. Dotted so going so straight. Like up or uh, oh, wait. down. So it would be what, left. What's awesome? uh, I want to do uh, this uh, one and I took parallel. So you're going to just dot it off. Yes, exactly. Because yeah. it's going to be main. So your math worked out, but from the, it's Hopefully a lot right. easier to see <laughs> with the ray diagram, I think, Yeah. to answer that question. What did you guys come up with? D. You got it right. Good. It helped that we did it today. So, <laughs> yeah. so to it. how did you ladies go about your solution? Communicate through the use of visual, auditory, and kinesthetic learning styles. Make sure all of these are used throughout your session. Stop frequently and ask if your two T's have questions. And then make sure they can answer the questions that you may ask. Well, in, case, in general, what is N2? The second thing. The second one, so it's like, this is where I start and this is where I'm going, right? So where am I starting in this problem? Two for theta one? Yeah. How did you get to theta one? In that tree it's function where that angle is the same as right. So now we, do you got it, Anthony? Yeah, I got it. So what'd you do? So that's a 90 degree angle there, so yes. you can just find the other side of that, mm -hmm. and then that same applies for like on top. So this angle is 90 minus theta critical, right? As a review, your tutoring session should include preparation, multiple resources, peer learning, and communication. Remember, your two T's will have different needs, and it's your job to work with all of them the best you can. By incorporating the previous elements into your tutoring, you will ensure your tutoring session is a success. 